More Letters from God and His Christ Gnashing Children January 10, 2011 From the Lord our God and Savior A letter given to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord God I have spoken And sent my messengers before my face Yet this foolish people Can in no wise see Nor are they able to hear they refuse to look past my messengers, and willingly stop their ears from hearing, unable to recognize the voice of the living God. For what is the messenger to you, O ignorant and vain peoples? Why do you consider so carefully, seeking to find fault with those I send? Why do you concern yourselves with those I choose? And why do you judge those through whom I speak? And what is a prophet? Is he not a man, my servant, whom I have chosen and called? And when does my servant become a prophet? And what is the length of time he remains as such? Lo, he is only a prophet in that selfsame moment, in which I speak to him and cause him to hear, prophesying only as long as I cause him to speak or to write my words. I am the Lord. For there is no prophecy apart from my will. And without my voice, there can be no prophesying. And without my spirit, no man may hear, nor shall he behold a vision, nor is he able to understand. Apart from the holy, there is no knowledge, only vanities and lies, false glory, evil divinations. Seek, therefore, true knowledge and you shall also receive understanding. Get wisdom, and heal these blinded eyes. Unstop the deafness which plagues your ears. Here is wisdom. If I send a message, even two of the same, each to separate houses, by way of two different messengers, then what is that to you? Indeed, what are the messengers to the message? Am I not the sender? Have I not the power to speak through whomever I choose, and send whomever I choose? Or would you have sin prevent me? Lo, shall I speak through donkeys instead? For they have no sin. Shall I send the birds of the air to be my messengers? For they have no sin. Shall the sins of men prevent me in any wise? Shall my voice be stopped by any means? Behold, by the mouth of Caiaphas I did speak, and declare my will and the means by which you would be saved, though he had the greater sin. I am the Lord, I do not change. And my words declare my glory. My message reveals my majesty and the power of my strength. Stop staring at my messengers. Therefore, O oh ignorant peoples, flee from all these pastors and run from all your teachers, blind guides who closely adhere to every form of doctrine and tradition of men while forsaking me and my word. Escape all these chains by which you are bound by the weight of their false doctrines and their detestable traditions. Hurry and seek out wisdom and fill yourselves with knowledge. Seek to buy new oil from those who sell the pure oil. They will not withhold, for I have sent them. They will gladly pour out. Yea, they have received an abundance of oil from the storehouses, by which you may surely relight your lamps, if you so choose to receive them. Hurry now! Darkness has already fallen, and soon the fullness of night will come in, where no one will be able to work, save those who will be set up as beacons. These are they who are both seen and unseen, 
those who will pass through the multitudes barely noticed, yet clearly set on a hill, for all to see and hear. I tell you, no man in authority will find them, nor can any device of men track them, nor can any do them harm. For who can stand against me, or shut my mouth, once I have begun to speak? For the sound of my voice shall not cease, until every high place is broken down and burned with fire, until every great mountain is shaken and brought down, until every foundation is stripped away. I am the Lord. No more shall anything high and lofty stand against me, nor shall anything created by the hands of men in their pride, built up in their insatiable greed, continue. All must be torn down. For their gluttonous appetites shall feed them in their pursuit of evil gain, until they burst. And in the peak of their self-proclaimed glory shall they be brought to utter ruin. The proud shall fall. And no more shall anything, high and lifted up, stand tall before my face any more. I am the Lord. Let my name resound until the blood pours from the ears of the wicked and the depths of the slaughter increases unto the neck. For I am not of this world, but you, O sons and daughters of men, you are of this world. The time of the martyred prophets is past. The days of the final trumpets have arrived. The day of slaughter has come in. For many will come, saying, Let us slay them. And though you slay a thousand, a thousand more will step forward and take their places. For sin cannot prevent the word of God from speaking. Nor shall it stop the mouths of those who bring glory to my name. Yet I warn you, and to my speech take heed and pay close attention. Indeed, many thousands were slain in times past, and a thousand more were sent. Yet in the day of the Lord's anger, it shall not be so. For indeed, many are appointed to the sword, and many will be given up, bringing glory to my name. For strong is the Lord, and my will is purposed and established among the nations. Yet my witnesses shall live, and in my prophets I shall come to dwell as a flame of fire. Their number is not one thousand, but one hundred forty-four times one thousand. Woe to those who come against them, for they are all strong towers, each one with battlements which cannot be broken down whose walls are impenetrable, each one possessing the power of the trumpets of Jericho, and they shall surely shout. Each one carries the power of my sword to slay, and they shall strike quickly. Each one has a large spear to pierce, and many shall be driven through. Lo, they shall also carry a basin filled with water, by which they shall wash the feet of the penitent. Until I come, I am the Lord. Therefore, I call you to come out, all you wicked. Come forth, every mocker. Seek out my witnesses to do them harm, by word and by deed. Come forward, all those who refuse to look past my prophets. All you who remain blinded in your pride and deafened by your great arrogance. Come out, you gnashing children! For the Lord your God has prepared a great slaughter.